Hello, this is Alex from Cables.gl, and today I'm joined by Stefan from Undev, who are responsible for developing Cables.gl, and we're going to cover a very interesting topic, which is exporting projects from Cables.gl onto various services and your own server, so you can then put it on a website or make a website in Cables and upload it. So introduce yourself. <laughs> yeah, uh, hello from me too. Um, so yeah, I'm joining Alex today for uh, a tutorial that's more on the technical side and it has to do with um, putting your patches on your website. So um, let's say you created a nice patch, it's the one um, that we're looking at currently and you want to export this and Cables uh, gives you a few options to um, put your patch on the web or just um, simply download it. So if you go to um, the menu and um, click this export option then you will be presented with this um, window that gives you a few choices and also links to the documentation for each of these so definitely um, check out this um, pages on the documentation we explain everything in detail um, again there but today we want to show you how to download your patch with every, uh, everything that's in there and put it on your private website so what do i need or like, what would be the situation when I would use this download export option? Would it be when I have my own server or I'm, um, I guess, subscribed to a service which allows me to upload directly to the server, right? It doesn't matter if it's FTP or SSH or maybe even through like a web interface, right? Right. Um, doesn't matter. You're basically being presented with, as you can see here, a, a zip file with all the contents and um, a perfectly uh, prepared um, HTML file that uh, just displays your patch um, as it is. If you have access to a server and um, rented some uh, hosting somewhere, um, you're good to go and uh, to put this in there and this will recover. Yeah. So I don't need to know like any HTML. Uh, no. I, I built my thing in cables and okay, cool. So let's say this is this awesome patch that I want to put on my server. Yeah. And I have no idea what I'm doing. So you just uh, click the menu, click the export button, see this window might look different for you because some of the options are only available to the owner of the patch. So um, if you mm -hmm. created the patch on your own or um, copied it um, mm -hmm. from any of the public examples, for example, um, then this gives you a few more options, but the download option is always there. Um, so basically what we're doing is um, going uh, through a few of these options. Um, these um, drop downs present you with a few options. The defaults um, should be fine. If you want to know mm -hmm. um, what these are about, mostly about um, the files that uh, your patch uh, includes, like images um, that you use for textures, for example, um, or how to make this compatible with older browsers. Defaults should be fine by now. Um, so mm -hmm. everything that's to do here is um, select the download tab and then export a zip file. Okay. So what do I see here? It, it tells me everything that was in my patch was exported and then there's some credits and legal text and some JavaScript that I guess I used in my patch. So yeah, some, this, of, some of the options... Here, would I see errors here, for example, or this is just like a progress of like okay it's successfully export yeah that's basically a progress short statistics mm -hmm. um and what we basically put in the uh, in the zip file that we're about to download if it errors it will show you an error but uh in general this shouldn't um uh, error okay so again export zip file we're being um calculated um this and then we press this download button and then your browser downloads um a zip file that i now have um in my download folder Mm -hmm. And um, I can extract this, and then I'm being presented with um, everything that's in there. Mm -hmm. And I even see there's a screenshot. So that that's the screenshot I see on Cables GL, like in the yeah. Whenever the you library, and whenever you mm -hmm. save the. It opened the uh, the wrong folder. So this is the one we just downloaded. And we're going <laughs> with this one. Um, so as we see, this one doesn't have a screenshot um, because we didn't create one yet. But in general, um, there's a screenshot in there. Mm -hmm. And um, these are then the files that we could um, upload to um, to a web server, basically. Nice. Okay. So now I have this website and it um, 
is really simple now. Um, I have my own domain and my own subdirectory, and it just says hello, mm -hmm. and we want to replace this with um, the patch. So we're grabbing uh, an FTP client um, to upload, and I'm already connected to the server, and everything's in there. Um, right, this and this index is just like some old thing that says hello. Yeah, okay. that's basically just this um, saying mm -hmm. hello. So now I um, open this, mark all these files uh, and mm -hmm. directories, and just copy it over. And this will then tell me um, that will overwrite the index um, HTML and, and then can refresh this and then refresh the page. And there we go. Oh, yeah. so, nice. So now I'm completely like no strings attached to cables.gl. True. Um, all of um, the stuff that you do is now the downloaded version of your patch. So if you make changes here now, you need to re-export um, mm. and upload it again. And this is not talking to any cable servers at all um, anymore. So this is yours now. Nice. That's pretty awesome. And I guess at this point, if I want to, for example, use this as the background or I, uh, I see that it works, now I just work in cables to maybe like remove the sidebar or something like that. And then I can then open the index HTML and then enter more CSS and, and all sorts of like HTML code on top of that. It's not like it's not like running some application or something. It's just running all the all the patch stuff from cables inside a regular uh, JavaScript. Yeah, if you want to do stuff, um, if you want to customize this, for example, um, you can always um, look at what we put in the index HTML, which is just a basic example on how to um, work with patches and how to integrate patches. Mm. And oh, it's commented, nice. Yeah, it's commented. <laughs> it's commented. It has some default styles that um, make it full screen, for example, or um, disable user select for mobile devices. So um, that's kind of fail safe and a good um, starting point to work from. And um, the basic idea here is, okay, you have this canvas um, element, which is basically drawing the patch. And then the whole integration um, of the patch itself is just these few lines of JavaScript, um, mm -hmm. which reference the um, the ID of this um, canvas element. Yep. Um, so this is where to draw. And it gives you some callbacks um, that are also mentioned in the documentation where you can do something once the patch is loaded um and um that's how you like if you want to integrate this into an existing web page or maybe not have it full screen but just on a hero image or menu item or whatever um then nice. just uh, go in here download um the zip file and take the integration um from here and go from there it's really simple okay cool that's pretty awesome and i guess that's pretty much it for for uploading to ftp I, trying to think of what other gotchas there are uh, yeah basically that's yeah, I don't just know. like the old school way of uploading html to a web server web server also doesn't need any kind of um cms or backend language or database mm -hmm. or so wherever you can put um basically static um, HTML files that a web server can put um, you can put the contents of this um, zip file and surf mm -hmm. surf your website from there and as you said it doesn't matter you can upload um, FTP SFTP SSH um, if you find a web um, web formula website where you can upload stuff um, mm -hmm. that's also fine and there's some services um, that offer this like GitHub and Netlify and this will cover in another video um, but it's yeah. similarly okay. easy I'd say nice well um, yeah this is pretty interesting because then uh, one thing I'm thinking of is there was some stuff in documentation I saw that uh, allows you to then take your cables patch and to start integrating it with um other JavaScript elements or or callbacks and all sorts of like um, outside of cables services or or interactions on your web page. So if you want to get into that stuff, like hopefully you know you can watch uh, the series of tutorials and then start experimenting with connecting your cables patch to to the rest of the world and uh, yeah, experiment with it. And uh, if you have any questions about this. 
definitely comment below and we'll be happy to answer and uh, see you on our discord see you bye yeah bye